So these guys are coming into turn three, getting ready to come out of turn four for the start of the race. Get this up is off. the SA title. Get up off your seats, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be a thriller. 40 ground pounding laps, ladies and gentlemen, as the green flag hits and Disney disappears into the abyss. Look at the way that car's set up. He's already got a car's uh, distance between himself and Raymond as they tip into three and four. Raymond on the charge behind him. Disney a little on the loose side coming out of that. Uh, leaves Raymond to pick up a bit of ground. This is a brilliant drive so far. Raymond getting hustled. He's got to get away from those uh, minor placing cars and stay with Disney if he wants to have any shot at uh, a win in this one. Matt Kermit's having a few handling problems. Actually just dropping back in the pack there. Falling into the clinches of, uh, of Kenny Croft. Crimson, the mover at the moment into third place as he drives. Oh, look at Scotty McPherson. Sorry, guys, up on two wheels there in, in three and four, and he's actually lost the position to Wallace with that one. Great drive at the moment uh, from our lead driver, the 11 car of Nathan Disney. Man, the rocket Chev uh, machine. And Grimson's just ducked under uh, Luke Raymond out of turn four there as well. Saw that coming. That pushed him into second spot, so we've still you, got Nathan Disney. Do you know what, guys? Uh, this this car of Grimson, since he's put that new back end in it, has made it really come to life. And I'm tipping you, he's actually going to make ground on Disney in this one. Yeah, just Luke Raymond better watch out because uh, Neil Wallace is coming after him big time. Yeah, just have a look at that Wallace machine. It's up on the bars and lifting that front left-hand wheel all around that corner there. So he's definitely got that thing set up pretty good. So we've got Disney, Crimson, uh, Luke Raymond, Neil Wallace, followed by Scotty McPherson, the current SA1 in fifth spot. I'll tell you what, Nathan Disney's doing the right thing, guys, and he's just getting away from these fellows and just putting the laps down. He's got to let these other guys battle one another and then deal with them as they come to him. 33 left on the board, guys. Disney actually Disney. just fired it up high there. Did he tag the wall, Russ? Yeah, he just tagged the wall there, and Grimson made up a lot of room on him. He's actually nearly got underneath him there and just had to get out of the gas. As Luke Raymond rides the wall down the oh, main Oh, Raymond's up the wall, boys. That was a hairy ride, and Wallace gets through to third position, so... Raymond Carr was up on the up on the whole, the wall, the whole straight there as uh, the battle at Disney and Grimson at the front continues. This is a great battle. Disney uh, trying hard to hold Raymond, uh, uh, rather, uh, the car Grimson back. Grimson still looking pretty strong, guys. I still reckon this car Grimson has the speed and can uh, wind him in, providing he doesn't get caught up in uh, slower traffic. This is going to be an absolute fight to the death, guys, with 30 left in it. Grimson and Disney just racing away from, uh, from the rest of the field, but uh, Neil Wallace is reeling him in slowly up the back straight. Probably got about eight car lengths to make up on the guys. Yeah, so that, while they're fighting in between themselves, he's making up time. Yeah, that car, Wallace, is definitely up on the bars, lifting that front left-hand wheel, and he seems to be making a lot of ground in that lap there as the boys fight for first and second. Do you know what? I reckon Wallace is pretty patient too. He's going to make the ground up, stay with him, and hopefully if one of these uh, guys tangles up, he'll pick up the bits. But if he'll sit back for a bit, then he'll attack. That's right. Wallace is uh, tagged on the back, right on the back of Daryl Grimson there with uh, Disney's pulled a couple of car lengths on him there. So it's a tough battle here for second and third. And yeah, lap traffic's really going to make a make a part in the rest of this race. The guys are coming into the remainder of the field. They've sort of broken away from everyone else as they try and go around the outside of them. Class yeah. act of their own, these guys. And as I said earlier on, uh, now it's Grimson on the back of Disney. And I reckon Wallace is hanging back. Wallace is going to stay with him until these guys wind a few more laps up and then he's yeah. going to nail them. Sorry, John, the uh, digger machine's just pulled in with a right-hand rear flat, so he's out of the race. Yep. And uh, actually, while that front scrap's going on, Luke Raymond's actually made up quite a lot of ground on the front, guys, with Scotty McPherson and, and Matty Crimmins chasing them down at the same time. Yeah, that's right. Matty Crimmins is also making a little bit of ground on uh, Scotty McPherson there, so as the left stick down, uh, I reckon Crimmins' car's going to come on strong. I'm watching this car now of Wallace. Wallace, as I said, he's just hanging back, guys. He's waiting for these other two fellas to tangle up, and uh, he's ready to pick the bits up if it happens. Wallace has got the speed. There's no doubt about it. He's saving the car for the end of the heat, guys. Yeah, that's right. It's a long race with uh, 23 laps left to go, so he's not he's not going to do anything silly with uh, that many laps on the board still to run. So we're approaching the halfway point through the race, so still a... So about 22 laps to go, and Disney's still leading from Grimson. Whoa! And Luke Raymond. Luke Raymond is just facing the wrong way, so that uh, Stewart should pull him in. 
Luke Raymond wrote the wall all the way up the back. He's tagged straight. the wall again, guys. He now knows the front end of that car. Life, so guys. Wallace is going to come to life at about lap eight, and it'll be on for young and old. You watch this. Crimson's just all over the back of Disney, trying high, trying low, trying all over the joint. Disney's just holding his line. He better hope he doesn't stuff up or he's going to pounce. That's right. And, uh, as you say that, the Wallace machine's actually dropped back probably three or four car lengths there, John. So uh, I'm not sure if his car's gone off or he had a bit of a lose coming out of one of the corners. But Crimson and Disney are definitely the two quickest guys on the track at the moment as they come to lap another car. As we say that, uh, Scotty McFarland, Person currently running in fourth. Behind him would be Matty, uh, would be actually Kenny Croft and Matty Crimmins in Wallace. sixth. Wallace's car, Druzzed, Wallace's car hasn't gone off. Watch what he's doing. He's sampling different lines on the turns. He's prepping himself for this run. Yeah, that's right. With 12 laps left to go, I suppose he's just trying a different line, seeing which is hooked up more. There's, uh, there's two lap cars here, 95 pulls infield. So, uh, yeah. He's definitely trying different lines, John. He's trying high, he's trying low, and he's actually made a bit of crowd on Dale Grimson, as yeah. I say. And he, Grimson just into the back of Disney there, coming into turn three. Wallace, a very, very experienced driver, done a lot of Ks in Amcas and everything else as well. So he's uh, done a lot of laps, done a lot of titles. He knows what it takes. Let me tell you guys, I'm not taking anything away from your lead two guys, but that's what I'm looking at now. He's looking for every line he possibly can. And the moment that clock starts to wind down a little, he's going to open the taps and she's going to be on for just, young and old here. Just as we pull in the single finish, John, we're down to nine laps here. So uh, look for Wallace to make his move. Oh, Disney a bit loose coming out of turn two. Grimson's really dived under him. He's having a look. The game's going to change now, And here guys. comes Wallace playing into, into second over the back of uh, Grimson. Look at Scotty McPherson on the charge edge. He's tagged on the back of this pack. He's in fourth position and he's only probably a car length away from McPherson. So with uh, eight or seven laps to go, look at him to, to really move forward. He doesn't want to give this title up without a fight. No, the boys are really bunching it up now. You can see him moving in onto each other, contending with the uh, lap traffic though. It gives Disney a little bit of breathing room, probably about two car lengths. Yeah, that's right. Wallace has actually been held up there, so Disney and Grimson got through pretty good. And uh, Scotty McPherson all over the back of Wallace with Kenny Croft. He's actually uh, tagged on the back of Scotty McPherson, probably three car lengths behind him. So this is going to be a real battle with five to go. This is one that Wallace wasn't contending with. Six to travel now. Wallace has got to get past that 65 car that's now. What oh, is Scotty Barry McPherson? Kelleher. Scotty McPherson just dived under Wallace while he's getting stuck. In behind the lap traffic, but Wallace has made it back. The other two guys have gotten loose. Now Wallace is free. Let's see if he can't peg him back. He's got five to do it in. This is a big ask, guys, because we've got uh, the likes of Disney up the front here. And have a look at this now. Disney having to shut the gate yet again. Well, it's on at the front here, fellas. It's also, it's also on, sorry, boys, for fourth and fifth with uh, Kenny Croft and Scotty McPherson. Look out, Grimson out of turn four, dived under the neath of uh, Nathan Disney and has taken the lead. Disney coming into turns one out of two, chasing down, but has probably lost about two car lengths on Grimson. Kelleher in the action. Oh, we got a yellow, guys. What? Three to travel, guys. Oh, look at that car of, uh, of uh, Disney, man, it's tight, all over the shop, loose and driving hard. Grimson at the front of the field. He's actually pulled a few car lengths, John, probably four or five car lengths, I'd say, over Disney, so. Disney's attitude of his car, it's bouncing all over the joint. He is not a happy camper. He's driving that hard, guys. Wide on the actions, so one to travel now. Four corners and a straight to put together as your lead driver, the number 12 of uh, Daryl Grimson, ladies and gentlemen, drives it away. Ange, take us home for the final, mate. Well, we've got Grimson coming in for the last uh, to grab it. Followed by Disney, followed by Wallace, followed by Crimmins, followed by Crofty, and there you go, there's your South Australian number one in Daryl Grimson, followed by Nathan Disney and Neil Wallace.